Hello guys, welcome to my channel Blue Jay Photography Okay, for today's video we're going to explore on text column function in Excel So without further ado, let's begin Okay, so let's open the Microsoft Excel here at the start menu. Just click that and then choose blank workbook. Okay, so text column is a function that could be used to separate data from one cell into different cell. Just like for example, if you have your last name and then comma first name and then comma uh, uh, middle name okay, it might be beautiful if we are going to complete the data so that would be last name so let's capitalize this and Okay, so and then this one first name and then lastly is the middle name. If you're of this uh, following data in in one column and you wanted to separate those data in different columns so that you can filter it out more precisely. So there are cases that you're go going to filter those data uh in excel that would be separated in different uh column now in this case if this that is separated only in uh special ca characters just like the comma so it would be hard for you to filter those names especially that you're going to filter the last names that's the common uh data filtering so let's just put here some examples so those names that we're going to separate for example we have here de la cruz one comma and then martis another data we have here uh, santos eric john samantha These uh, people are just examples, so they're not existing. Let's just use some of the common, uh, common last names and names in here in the Philippines. Okay, so let's just say that you have. Uh, three data here. Let's just use these three data here, including the title here. So let's let's just use. So this one, it could be easier if you are going to separate those those by typing, right? Because it's only uh, limited. It's not so many uh, data, right? So you can just type here, just like that. And then just like that. So you can do that. But what if the data are so many? And it it would be from row two and up to the last row. What if that would happen? Well, there are a lot of data, hundreds and a thousand of data. So it would be hard for you to separate those by encoding. It will be it would be a time consuming. So that's why this text column function is was made so, so to do that uh, so let's just delete this first to do that you're going to highlight this column and then go to the data tab and look for text columns function so here in the data, data tools you can see the text column function just click that 
okay so you will be uh, you will be asked what data type are you going to is it delimited or fixed so when you say delimited characters such as commas or tabs separated each field so meaning that commas and other special characters just like tabs can be separated while the other one is the fixed width this one is only uh, fields are aligned in columns with spaces between each other so meaning that it will be separated in just uh, columns with spaces so let's just test which should be more applicable in separating in your, of your data so depending on the situation that you're going to do so let's just focus here delimited so what will happen if you're going to separate that one on tab so nothing happens here because tab character is not present here how about semicolon wala din. so we're going to use the comma so as you can see in the data preview those datas are now separated as you can see there so let's go back let's go back and compare with the fixed width well, fixed width well, it would not be separated so as you can see yeah uh, it could be separated by just dragging the line what is being fixed with the width that would be the data that would be separated so that is and you're going just going to add another line add another line just click there so what would happen so that would be the output no? so uh, this one is not the uh, applicable on what are we going to do so we will going to uh, choose the limited okay so click next then comma you can also separate uh, data uh, into cells using some special characters that you have encoded or encoded by the source so by just clicking others or you can also separate data using the spaces as you can see so a lot of uh, th those data that are with spaces are separated but we are not going to use that so let's just focus here on comma okay so click next and then we're going to assign what kind of data are they so basically these are text data so let's just uh, convert this one into text let's not use general however if there there is a data that says it is a number then you will choose general or yes general yes as you can see there's a note here the general converts numeric values to numbers dates to values to days and all remaining values of text so that is the note here so basically we're just going to use text because the data we're gathering here are just text so we'll click finish and see what happens so what if we're not going to uh, separate files just like that you wanted to remain the files here ah, is that happening is that, uh, it's happening but let's just focus here those data that are separated into uh, cells okay as you can see we are, the data are now separated but as you can see there is a space between uh, in the beginning of the first name so this is the space that separate last name the comma and then the first name so to do that to remove the space here you're just going to add another or insert another column and then select this and separate this one by this function delimited okay or the text the column function and then it's not anymore comma because it's separated with a space so we're going to do that will be included here the first name and the last name so we're not going to use this delimited so we're going to use the fix 
okay so in fix uh, separator okay so let's just add okay so let's just add a line beginning with the first name and then one as you can see that that was that it would be the best way to do this to separate this the, the space and the characters so click next and then click finish so as you can see there will be no more spaces here beginning with this data of the first name so you can now delete this and now you have the finished product, product that you have separated uh, data in just a seconds so if you have a thousand a hundreds a hundreds of thousands and millions of data here on your excel file it's now easy to separate those one into cells so that you can filter it out very easily so as you can see let's just try here to to filter so if you wanted to filter all de la cruz here uh, all de la cruz so and then remove all the others that are not de la cruz so it would be filtered out but if if the data are not separated into cells it cannot be possible uh, it could be filter but you cannot uh, determine or customize which of the data are you going to filter it would best that it would be separated into cell so that you can easily manage can easily view the data that you are going you are wanted to look for okay so i think that's all for today guys and do not forget to subscribe my channel and thank you and have a good day